my friend welcome to the session of wellness wonder and learning today i will talk you about the necessity of magnesium my friend getting enough quantity of magnesium may support sleep health and improve your mood it also lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease and migraine when you are suffering from migraine then magnesium can remove or can control your migraine your body requires magnesium as a study has shows because magnesium is required in about 300 types of enzymatic reactions going on inside the body and its deficiency can have a drastic effect on your health now enough magnesium is found in a variety of foods but yeah generally due to lack of knowledge we do not have sufficient quantity of magnesium so there may be better to have supplements if you have low intake of magnesium rich foods now what is magnesium we will know try to know magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in our body <clears throat> our body cannot work properly when there is deficiency of magnesium this nutrient is essential for hundreds of metabolic processes and many other important bodily functions from producing energy to building important proteins now sources of magnesium what are the foods which have rich sources of magnesium legumes nuts seeds whole grains and green leafy vegetables and meat and fish also contain a small amount of magnesium now what happens actually we do not take legumes nuts seeds whole grains and leafy vegetables leafy vegetables daily or we do not take sufficient quantity of these vegetables fruits legumes etc and reason is that we suffer from deficiency of magnesium as estimated 9% to 17% of adults and 15% to 20% of adolescents have a magnesium deficiency now magnesium deficiency may play a role in development of health conditions like type 2 diabetes heart disease alzheimers or narrowing of arteries due to cholesterol plus when cholesterol is deposited in your arteries then it narrows the arteries and this may not be avoided because you are not taking sufficient quantity of sufficient amount of magnesium now we will know <clears throat> when we do not take sufficient amount of magnesium from the foods then what we can do there are some magnesium supplements so it is possible to get enough amount of magnesium from these supplements if you are not having it from that a supplement may be helpful if you have difficulty meeting your magnesium needs through foods or if you have deficiency if you have a deficiency you can take 20 to 40 weeks of magnesium supplements to reach a steady level inside your body now magnesium help reduce your blood pressure taking mag magnesium supplements may help reduce your blood pressure level a study shows that people with high blood pressure have shown improvements in their blood pressure level after they took supplements of magnesium now <clears throat> it may improve your sleep magnesium plays a vital role in sleep people with low magnesium levels are more likely to experience sleep problems such as difficulty falling or staying asleep now as per a study it has been found that older adults that have supplements of magnesium about 320 to 720 mg of magnesium daily up to 8 weeks decrease the sleep problem or time to fall asleep and increase the total sleep time 
which can be compared very easily. Now, magnesium may improve your mood. Magnesium is very helpful in depression. When you have depression, then it may be due to deficiency of magnesium. So when you take sufficient quantity of magnesium through supplements, then it has been found that the depression has been eradicated and your mood has become fresh. Now, magnesium supplements may benefit blood sugar level. Magnesium plays a crucial role in insulin and glucose in metabolism. Now, when people with type 2, two, type, uh, two type, type 2 diabetes, they took these magnesium supplements, it has been found that their blood sugar level decreased and insulin level increased in their body. It's interesting. Now, insulin is a hormone that helps regulate your blood sugar levels and improving insulin resistance can promote better blood sugar management especially in people with diabetes now magnesium has been found to reduce risk of heart disease low magnesium levels are linked to the heart disease and but when people with heart disease or prone to heart, heart disease have been given the supplements of magnesium then it is has been found that they had low risk of heart disease so it is very essential that you take sufficient amount of magnesium magnesium may improve your migraine and magnesium deficiency may increase risk of migraine a neurological condition characterized by intense recurring headaches that occur with additional sub symptoms why research has been done it it has been found that a daily dose of 400 to 600 milligram trusted source of magnesium may help prevent migraine in people with magnesium deficiency. Now, we will find out taking magnesium supplements to address this, these efficiency are linked with the health benefits. What are these health benefits? These are improvements in, in blood pressure, it improves your mood in management of the blood sugar, low risk of heart disease and lower the risk of migraine episodes that is gradual uh, that is frequency of migraine you now decreases time of uh, this migration is ma migraine is elongated and and consequently with time you forget the migraine now there may be side effects of magnesium supplements what are the side, side effects the people with magnesium supplements taking in more quantity may cause diarrhea, nausea and vomiting and especially the people suffering from kidney disease may have bad effects of these magnesium supplements because these magnesium uh, supplements may include toxicity and it is dangerous for people suffering from kidney disease. Additionally, there is no evidence that supplementing magnesium supports health in people who do not have a deficiency. So, if you are not experiencing any effects of magnesium deficiency or if you know you do not have one, you probably do not need to have this magnesium supplement. So, you should be very cautious while taking magnesium supplements. Now, how much magnesium should we take? A diet high in magnesium includes healthy whole foods such as whole grains, nuts, seeds and legumes. It, it is possible to get a daily recommended amount of minerals through diet alone. This is 400 to 420 mg of, for males and 320 to 360 mg for females. However, when this quantity is not risked, then there is risk of deficiency of magnesium. Now, how much should we take? The recommended dose of magnesium supplements varies between 200 to 400 mg per day, depending on brand. That means a supplement can provide 100% or more of the reference daily intake RDI. The tolerable upper limit for supplement magnesium is 350 mg per day as per the uh, 
experts now what type should we choose magnesium supplements come in variety of forms and better are given here that is magnesium citrate magnesium lactate magnesium aspirate and magnesium chloride supplements are available in variety of uh, delivery systems such as pills gummies powders and liquids the delivery system doesn't make much of a difference in terms of absorption so anyone can choose them now what is needed actually need is that magnesium is involved in over 300 essential metabolic reactions inside the body which includes energy production blood pressure regulation nerve signal transmission and muscle contraction so low magnesium level may be involved in various health conditions like type 2 diabetes heart disease osteoporosis and migraine although many whole foods like green leafy vegetables legumes nuts and seeds contain magnesium up to 2/3 of the people in anywhere in india or western countries also they do not take these foods in sufficient quantities so they lack the magnesium the sufficient quantity of magnesium required in their body so supplements is the only option for them to have eradicated all these deficiency diseases thank you very much